Hello, this is Mark Laurie, the superintendent of schools in Niagara Falls, and we're back for our second YouTube video. And just to let you know, the YouTube videos will hopefully get more exciting when we film on locations and we move around. But to get this project launched, we were sitting in my office, and uh, I want the opportunity to talk about a specific topic today because it's really timely to our staff, and that topic is uh, our process for hiring. Today, let me talk about two, uh, two sources of hiring. Uh, and we have many different areas to hire. But today I want to focus on hiring administrators and hiring the teaching staff. We also have hiring non-instructional and support staff. And hopefully I'll be able to touch on it, but I'm cognizant of these uh, YouTube videos being just a couple of minutes. So let's talk about it. it. One of the biggest decisions that I make and recommend to the board is the hiring of administrators. These are executives chief operating officers of their individual schools and that's the way I try to talk to them and, and allow them to run their schools. They're responsible total, totally for the operation. So I take and make this decision very carefully and cautiously and I try not to rush. Um, I also try to think down the line about uh, the proper placement of principals lined up with their strengths and um, and, and if I'm anticipating that in two or three years uh, somebody is retiring, you try to slot people in the right spots so it's a seamless transition for schools. Because what I know is there's nothing more disruptive than to move administrators around uh, for the staff, the students, the parents, and the community. So I do and will continue to take a lot of time before uh, making principal appointments. It's not, or assistant principal appointments. It's not out of indecision, it's not out of indecisiveness, and it's not out of lack of quality um, candidates, but it is out of wanting to make the right move for next year and down the future. Now, with respect to hiring teaching staff, uh, we also do have a very um, thoughtful process. Uh, one of the things that I really like to do is I like to look at our teaching assistants, our pupil service assistants, people that are in the system that have certifications that have uh, proven their time in the district. And I look at that group of people first. I then look at our long-term um, substitutes. And then I look at, are there Niagara Falls residents or people who are clamoring to move back to Niagara Falls who have strong teaching experience and references in other districts and there's an attempt to there's an attempt to bring that back to live in our city. So those are the three areas I look at when hiring teachers. And it doesn't matter really who you are, who you know, it's what you know and what you can do for our kids. And I wanna stress that. Um, so I look at teaching assistants, pupil service assistants. I look at um, those that are clamoring to come back to Niagara Falls that have solid teaching experience outside of the school. I look at long-term substitutes and our day-to-day -day substitutes. In Niagara Falls, your interview is your uh, work as a substitute, a teaching assistant, uh, or a PSA, and that's how we use an interview. It's my belief that anybody could put out a lesson or demonstrate something in an interview. I wanna see what you can do with a live class in front of you. I hope this makes sense. Always feel free to call me, email me, write me if you have questions about anything you hear or see on these videos. I'm enjoying this. I hope you enjoy the YouTube videos and I hope you find them informative. My plan is to do one every week, even throughout the summer, so you can stay in touch with what's on my mind, what's on our mind, and what's on the district's mind. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Have a good, good day.